Ahoy! Greetings to my Czech and Slovakian photographers. Hi guys, this is Patrick. Uh, we are with Scotty in beautiful Siena, Italy. Uh, looking forward to running our workshops here in Tuscany. And we decided to have a little interview with Scotty. So I'm going to start with a couple of questions and you will enjoy the view of Scotty. Scotty, uh, first question. Uh, what brought you to photography? Mm, my, my parents. My mom was a photographer and uh, I just... I got my first camera when I was 10, and uh, I fell in love with it, and they made a dark room for me. I could work on all my images, bring them to life, and uh, that made me fall more in love with photography. I just, I never stopped looking for great ways to take pictures. Okay, so that would be interesting, the following question. What else would you like to be if you wouldn't be a photographer? Oh, too many things. Astronaut, I want to... Oh, pilot? Some great chats up there. Um, uh, race car driver. Um, mm. Okay, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I want to be astronaut or race car driver. Right. Considering we are in the summer in the middle of Italy, it's obvious that you travel a lot. So would you estimate how many days you spend traveling? Oh, not all that much. Maybe three months out of the year, four months out of the year. Yes, he. Okay, that's uh, more than third. Possibly. Okay. Speaking of traveling, tell me, and you have to be very selective. What are your favorite one or maximum two destinations you just you just love? Mm. Oh, I have to say this is one of them: Siena, Tuscany, Chiquitera, Venice, Florence. That's already the five. That's already five. This is the trip we're on now, though. The workshop. Uh, Santorini okay. and uh, Africa. Okay, I knew it. we are not going to stop with the two only, so I'll take three. All right. That's why it's hard to choose pictures you give me to judge. <laughs> so many good pictures. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so when you go to travel, obviously you can't take all your equipment. What's your really necessary thing you are packing with you? My tripod. Got to have that everywhere, every single place I go. Uh, Obviously, my Canon 5D Mark IV and my walk-around lens that I use a lot is my 24 to 105. On the Nikon, it's a 24 to 120. Um, my loop lets me look in the back, cuts out the light, magnifies the image, just like I did with film. It's fantastic, and um, a good backpack holding all my gear. Okay. Yeah, but of course. My 11 to 24, my 500 or my 1 to 400. So I guess you answered that partially, but when you travel a part of your total equipment, the number one lens you just love, not only for traveling, but number one lens you just can't live without it. 24. Yeah, which would seem weird maybe to some people, strange, but uh, it's a medium, medium wide angle to semi telephoto image stabilizer it's not a 2.8 i don't really care it works great and uh i have to have it with me everywhere okay now taking into consideration you travel so much i guess you were in some of the danger situations what was that dangerous situations yeah. <laughs> uh too many last night when i smashed the rental car that was not fun um oh my god and your, the, your root canal uh, Yeah, I had a root canal a year ago here in the eating in the restaurant all of a sudden. Baby, my mouth. Ah, and I look for a dentist, emergency root canal right here in Siena. Horrible, but I've had a lot of stuff. Paris, breaking my leg. Um, Burma, got an infection. I got um, cellulitis, which is uh, a terrible, uh, terrible, terrible infection. They thought about it. I might have to have my leg cut off. I said, cut off my head. I can't live without my leg. Thank God they found antibiotics. IV, 24 hours. I was better. Where was it, in Burma? But I still, still have a pain in my leg. What? Was that in Burma? In Burma, yeah. But I got the infection. Well, I stepped on something in India. And in Thailand, they tried to cut it out. And I got infected in Thailand. By the time I got to Burma, it got worse, and we were in the middle of nowhere, no doctors. It was pretty bad. 
Okay. It's dangerous sometimes when you're on the road in third world countries.